Hello everyone, this is Verma. You are watching the second video from the series about acrylic. In the previous video, we figured out what acrylic is and how to choose a suitable machine for it. The link to the video will be in the description. See if you missed it and don't forget to subscribe. And we turn to the topic of our today's video, how to cut and engrave acrylic. Plexiglass has some features of cutting on a laser machine, but the main differences are related to cutting thin and thick plexiglass, as well as cutting products with sharp edges. You can easily find acrylic products even at home, transparent stands, business card holders, key rings, souvenirs, and even aquariums. Some products are exclusively cut on the machine, and for some, both cutting and engraving are carried out. Especially interesting are products with engraving with backlighting. How to cut plexiglass and acrylic? To begin with, let's talk about the features of cutting thin plexiglass. Cutting acrylic up to 2 to 3 millimeters does not differ from cutting other materials of similar thickness. The main thing is a good alignment and a properly set focal length. You can watch a video on how to properly adjust the machine on our channel. Save this video. This video will be useful for you. But back to the secrets of cutting thin plexiglass. When cutting thin plexiglass, excessive blowing leads to the formation of foam on the upper edge of the end face. So it is recommended to reduce the blowing. Especially well visible on plexiglass is the so-called coin cut, which is a consequence of sudden movements of the laser head. Watson machines use three-phase motors with a step of 1.2 instead of 1.8 for conventional stepper motors, as well as special belt gears and a rubberized belt. This set of measures makes the movement of the machine smooth without loss of cutting accuracy. Because of this, you will not have a coin cut. Now let's discuss cutting thick plexiglass from 5 mm. Cutting thick plexiglass is associated to a greater extent with the risk of roughness, undesirable pattern or stripes. Reducing the pressure of auxiliary air helps to avoid this. Since under strong pressure, already melted plexiglass partially solidifies and leaves a pattern on the edge. However, it is strictly forbidden to remove the blowing completely for two reasons. Blowing is necessary to protect the focusing lens from cut products, to prevent the ignition of acrylic cutting products. Conclusion. When cutting plexiglass 2 to 3 mm, slightly reduce the airflow, and when cutting thick plexiglass more than 5 mm, reduce it to a minimum. Important. When cutting acrylic, the operator must always be in the line of sight of the machine. And now it's time for life hacks. Cutting with overlap. To avoid the appearance of hooks at the cutting start, use the tool in RD Works cutting with a margin. How to engrave plexiglass and acrylic. Let's move on to the engraving. The first stage of preparation is the cutting of the material and removing the film. If cutting acrylic in a film is the standard procedure, then we strongly do not recommend engraving on the film. If there are small details in the drawing, it will be impossible to remove it the film may also melt to the part. Engraving can be done in two ways. First, classical engraving with filling, and second, engraving in the cutting mode, not through the entire thickness. The machine thinks it cuts when it does contour engraving. We give it less tube power and it doesn't cut through. Both methods are applicable and are often combined. The first method is applicable more often when you need to make a detailed engraving. For example, a picture or portrait of a person, and so on. If desired, you can make a matte edge. Engraving in the not-through mode is more often used when engraving letters, numbers, simple elements. The basis of successful engraving is a properly set focal length and perfect alignment. Blowing does not play a special role, but there is no need to put high pressure, since the particles will stick to the engraved product and create a haze effect. A very useful tool in working with acrylic will be the Light Guide Panel, LGP, which is a whole technology for applying a special pattern to the material to create the effect of a luminous substrate and uniform illumination of the entire sheet. The software that comes with all Watson RD Works machines has a rich built-in toolkit for creating such projects. This is a very interesting topic for a video. Write in the comments if you want us to shoot about it. That's it! In the next video, we will show you more engraving techniques. If you still have any questions, ask them in the comments. Our engineers like to answer them. Also, like and subscribe to our channel. Verma was with you. See you in the new videos.